Hey, shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. I thank you again for joining me. Hey, today I'm going to give you a definition of uh, uh, the word, uh, if I pronounce this right, excuse me if I can't pronounce this right, the chirogra the chirographian, the chirographian. I'm going to uh, read something to you and uh, I just jotted the notes down and everything. So bear with me and my handwriting, of course. But uh, it's uh, something I just think it's interesting and something I should just uh, share with you guys all. So here, let's uh, <clears throat> talk about what it, what it is, what it means. Uh, okay, recent, re recent studies have shed light on the meaning of kiriographin. And uh, I'm going to spell it. You, well, I already, uh, it's uh, C-H-E-I-R-O. G R A F H O N. Okay, that's that's the word. And I, like I said, I might mis mispronounce it. I'm sorry, but uh, uh, which occurs only once in Scripture, and you can find that in Colossians chapter two, verse fourteen. And I'll let you guys read that. Look it up, please. Look it up and read it for yourself. Its usage in apocalyptic apocalyptic literature indicates. That uh, it is, uh, it means the record book of sin or sins or a certificate of, of sin and debt, debtedness, but not the moral or ceremonial law. This view is supported also by the clause, and this he has removed out of the middle. Uh, chapter 2, verse 14. The middle was the position occupied at the center of the court or assembly uh, by the accusing witness. In the context of Colossians, the accusing witness is the record book of sins, which uh, Yahweh and uh, Messiah has erased and removed out of the court. Uh, by this uh, daring metaphor, Paul affirms the completeness of, the, of Yahweh's forgiveness through uh, Messiah Yahweh has canceled, set aside, nailed to the cross, the written record of our sins, which because of the regulations was against us. The legal basis of the record of sin was the binding statutes uh, regulations. But what Yahweh destroyed on the cross was not the legal ground or law for our entanglement into sin, by the written record of our sins, the written record of our sins there. Uh, by destroying the evidence of our sins, Yahweh has also disarmed the principalities and powers, uh, and that's uh, chapter 2, verse 15, since it is no longer possible for them to accuse those who have been forgiven. There is no reason, therefore, for uh, Christians to feel incomplete and to seek the help of inferior mediators since Yeshua has provided complete redemption and forgiveness. So the conclusion then that the uh, document nailed to the cross, uh, the, the nail to the cross is not the law in general or Sabbath in particular, but rather the record of our sins. Uh, any attempt to read into it a reference to the Sabbath or any other Old Testament ordinance is unwarranted and pure fabrication. So that's what the word means. It's the, it's the record book of sin, uh, sins. It's not the law being nailed to the cross, even the ceremonial laws. Ceremonial laws, of course, we know it's no longer binding since the precious blood of the Lamb, the Lamb of Yahweh, uh, Yeshua HaMashiach was the one that put an end to that, those ceremonial animal sacrifices. I mean, that's the blood atonement. And, uh, but the, the record book of sin is what they're talking about in here in, in Colossians. So, um, so that's pretty clear cut right there. And, uh, I suggest you, uh, look the stuff up for yourself. If you can, uh, if you got, uh, you know, read it in the, in the scriptures and then you could either look it up on, in, uh, in, uh, on, online, you know, or if you got some handy Bible reference books and stuff like that, study aids around, check them out too. But 
It's not like like repeatedly said. It's not the law or the Sabbath or even the ceremonial law that was nailed to the cross. It was the record book of sins. We cannot be accused of sins that are already that are forgiven, and that's a good that's a that's a pleasing thing to hear. It truly is. It's it's very pleasing and and self self uh, soothing. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. I thought it would be very important. And uh, with that said, uh, please comment below. Let me know what you think about this. And also, uh, please watch my other uh, videos. They're all interesting and something might catch your eye. And uh, please give me a big thumbs up. Hit that uh, notification bell. And also subscribe. I'd appreciate that. And I really do thank all of you for watching my videos and supporting me. I really do. It means a lot to me. And uh, until we meet again, friends, brothers and sisters, uh, peace out and shalom.